Hi everyone. In this video, I wanted to share uh, some of my experiments with the um, Arducam um, CSI to HDMI cable extension module for the Raspberry Pi camera. Um, the, this is for the Raspberry Pi um, v, camera V2. Um, and um, the reason I wanted to do this was because I wanted to put uh, the Raspberry Pi camera module itself some distance away from where the Raspberry Pi uh, Pi 4 would would be and I came across some of the some of the solutions I came across um, you know uh, uh, this is one of them the RDCAM module was pretty readily available and uh, I wanted to give it a try and um, here um, if you uh, recall the um, camera the Raspberry Pi uh, camera module v2 connects to the Raspberry Pi 4 through the CSI interface uh, using an FPC cable um, the Arducam uh, CSI to HDMI uh, cable extension module converts that CSI to HDMI and then you can attach a uh, HDMI cable to the module and uh, on, then go on the other side of the HDMI cable and then convert it back to CSI and then put the Raspberry Pi camera on, on the far side of the HDMI cable. So this way you can have some range and um, some, some distance. Uh, some maybe you know some in some applications you you know that might be desired so this is one of the solutions that I came across um, in any case um, to um, share uh, to let you know what this module is about as you can see this is the arducam.com website the SKU for the uh, for this module is B0091 and um, it's described as the arducam CSI to HDMI cable extension module with the 15 pin 60 millimeter FPC cable for Raspberry Pi camera specific. And um, this page shows what comes in the package. And uh, if I switch back to the uh, overhead, uh, you, what you see, this is the box that it comes in. And um, uh, uh, it's not, it's currently connected. Uh, I just put it up, up there. My I wanted to describe how the current connection is. So here is the camera module sitting here on top of this uh, base. And with the FBC cable, it comes in and connects to the, to the camera connector, to the CSI connector. Um, one of the other um, things that I needed, as you can see in my picture here, I have a, a microphone. Uh, so this microphone, um, uh, is uh, is connected to this uh, Sabrent um, audio adapter, which is connected to this Sabrent four-port uh, USB two um, hub, and that hub is connected here to this port uh, to the USB port of the uh, of the Raspberry Pi. Um, the other connection to the to the hub is just a keyboard and a mouse coming in. The reason I picked this Sabrent uh, USB hub is that there's good spacing between the ports so that I can attach accessories that are a little bit wider like the Sabrent audio adapter next and have enough room to be able to plug more items in and, and some of the other hubs don't have this feature so that's why I went with the Sabrent uh, four port hub and I wanted to kind of keep that also in the picture because uh, I don't want to just uh, extend my um, uh, video uh, some distance. I also want to extend the audio uh, along with it. And since the HDMI cable can carry audio as well, I should be able to put the, um, the microphone where the camera module is located and then have the audio and the video signals transported over the HDMI cable uh, across uh, the Arducam uh, uh, cable extension and then uh, bring it into 
the side where it's closer to the Raspberry Pi and then connect the video to the CSI module and, and, and bring out the audio from the uh, Arducam module and plug it into this Sabrent uh, audio module the way it is connected now. So that, that side, the connection to the Raspberry Pi wouldn't change. It just uh, would be uh, carrying, um, putting some distance between the audio and the video sources um, by using that CSI to HDMI cable. So uh, I wanted to show you my setup and that way you have an idea as to what, uh, what I start from and then where it goes. So if I go back to Chrome, uh, this, you, as you can see, is the uh, RDCAM CSI HDMI extension module. It's used to extend the Raspberry Pi camera cable with a standard HDMI cable. And it works with the V1 and V2 cameras at, according to this, uh, this page. So, um, it, and it, it says that it should work over uh, 10 meters um, to extend the range that, that far. So that's plenty for me. Um, in addition to extending the camera signal, it also provides uh, another three signals to extend with the camera signal together with the headphone jack connector. Um, so uh, it can be used to extend standard audio signals, GPIO signals, or other sensor signals according to users' needs. So um, that's an advantage also because uh, not only may, maybe I can uh, use it to uh, extend my audio, but also GPIO uh, and, or some other sensor um, so that might have to be co-located with the camera and farther away from where the Raspberry Pi is. And that way the, audio, the HDMI cable can be used to, to carry that signal as well. But in any case, uh, to see what comes in the package, uh, the package that you saw earlier uh, that I held up, um, let me show you the, the package one more time. So here's the the package that the way it comes uh, as you can see it's uh, uh, it says on the back uh, Articam X001CHWTFF and uh, and it has the same uh, SKU on it B0091 I will uh, open the box later under the camera but uh, I just wanted to go back and kind of describe it uh, according to what the website has. So inside the, the package, what you'll see are two modules uh, and they're identical. This UC362 module, uh, you get two of them. I believe they're identical. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, I think they are, they are identical, but um, it, yes. Uh, so they both have this uh, connector, which is for audio. And so here you see the top side of it, and here's the bottom side. And so there's the HDMI connector, there's the CSI connector. So here's the CSI to HDMI conversion. And here is also where the um, audio signal comes in and then gets fed into the, uh, to the uh, HDMI cable. It comes with some screws and uh, you know what the, what the hardware you need to be able to connect the actual Raspberry Pi camera module to the Arducam uh, module. So uh, these these uh, screws are basically what uh, what you'll need. And I'll show you the uh, the completed um, uh, picture. Um, here again uh, is another picture of the two the two modules that are in the box. And here it shows the uh, one, the side the far side where a Raspberry Pi camera is attached to one of the two modules. And you can see how the cabling is supposed to be done. So here's the camera uh, um, cable going into the module. And from here, well, actually, um, I'll have to see. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell from here. And I, I uh, will, this cable runs under comes out here and goes over and then into there. So I think that's that's the, the way it works, but we'll see it later. Uh, in any case, as you can see here for from the far side, an HDMI cable, and they're using a flat cable here, but in my application, I don't want a flat cable. I wanted a round cable. Um, 
and then um, but either way uh, you can see that that's another solution you can have a flat flat HDMI cable going to that side plugging into the other Arducam module from where it is then taking a uh, FPC cable into to the CSI connector of the Raspberry Pi and here is the far the the picture of the side where it connects into the um, Raspberry Pi 4 and here's another picture of the of the camera side um, I believe this in the bottom is the Raspberry Pi camera so the cable from the camera comes out and folds over and goes under and then comes back out and folds over and then plugs into the um, Arducam module and then from here it goes into HDMI and um, uh, the audio is not visible here but you can see how the hardware is, uh, that comes in the box is used to connect the two pieces together so the bottom is the Raspberry Pi camera module and then the top is the Arducam so these four uh, stands and the screws and the nut, uh, nuts are going to hold the, hold the whole thing together so it's pretty pretty steady uh, I'll show you my um, the one that I've put together and uh, as you can see here's the the camera side I'll flip it over this way so you see the cable comes out and flips under and goes across and then uh, I'll flip the um, the other side it comes out it comes out and then goes into the CSI connector over there where the UC392 module is and I'll show you from the side so you can kind of see how the how the cable goes under there um, and I'll show it to you from this side as well where the audio jack is so um, that's the assembled far side and the this is the the way the um, the Raspberry Pi side looks like so it's just basically uh, the cable I'm, I'm showing it here this way so you can see the way the cable connects this is the way I it worked for me I connected the cables this way and you might want to take a note of where the blue side is of the cable and uh, there's another blue side under there, underneath here as you can see anyways it's kind of hard because I'm, uh, I'm not able to hold it steady under the camera but um, uh, basically that matches the um, matches the um, the picture in the the website but uh, you can pause probably the video and and see it at different angles I'm going to just show it to you at different angles so that if you have any any doubts during assembly it, you might uh, want to take a look at what worked for me you can see the blue blue side of the cable the way it's connected there and uh, and so on but in any case uh, let me go back to Chrome in addition to this these pictures uh, there's there's more um, there's more information on the uh, on the web pie, web page and then there's this user guide and then how to purchase but I purchased it on on Arducam's uh, Amazon store uh, actually I just searched Amazon but you can uh, it looks like you can go to Am Arducam's Amazon store from here too um, but um, this is the user guide uh, the user guide for the Arducam CSI HDMI adapter board for Raspberry Pi camera board this is revision one so you can see it's been around for three years at least uh, revision one has been and uh, this is how the full can uh, set up is uh, is supposed to work but uh, there is an introduction feature and specification kit content headphone jack wiring diagram assembly instructions and mechanical drawings in, in here so that's pretty good information you may want to just uh, just take a look at that if you're interested uh, but um, uh, I followed the instructions here and and here's about how to connect the audio jack 
and uh, there's a good description of the, the audio signals and where in it. So the interesting thing is that these A, B, C, and ground um, signals are the GPIO signals. And this can be um, can be uh, interfaced to the audio jack a b c d so they're using uh, and, and then then from there you can bring them out to to wherever whatever you want in your application so i think i i'm not sure in my case i was only at the moment interested in audio extending the audio so i didn't try extending gpio signals with it but it seems to me that uh, you either use it for use the audio jack for to extend audio or you use it to extend GPIO or some other sensor um, other way, uh, or I, I should say I'm not sure uh, I don't know the assembly instructions were pretty straightforward um, I'm I mean you just need a, the screwdriver and a four millimeter wrench or a pair of pliers and here are some mechanical drawings and there's not much to it and then um, here's the website on here's the the site on Amazon uh, it's pretty pretty affordable 1399 for the pair of modules that comes in the box so that that complete solution uh, and um, it's it's it was a it was easy for me to pick up get it from um, Amazon and experiment with it. I don't know how how affordable it is in the, in, in in any particular application, but for me it was uh, for experimentation that I do. Uh, it's actually a pretty good pretty good uh, um, option. So you can see here. Now I didn't see any uh, reviews on the on the Articam web uh, page, but there are a few reviews. And uh, there's some comments here, and uh, so you may want to take a look at that as well. So there are other people who have commented on it. Um, I'm interested in in finding out if uh, how good the audio signal is after it gets over that uh, wire. How what's the quality of that audio cable? But uh, for the moment, I'm just going to just focus on the mechanical and the um, and and the items that are in the package and. And then I'm going to pause this video and then come back in another video and then show you the um, the assembled uh, the assembled um, setup uh, if you're interested. Um, anyways, I hope this is uh, useful. But um, uh, see you in the next video. Take care.